I'm looking at everybody out there. So get the crap out of your ears and listen to me. I'm willing to go the three months, but something better happen or I'll fire everybody downstairs. Am I getting clear to you people? Tensions are high among Barnes County leaders with some members of the public saying changes are in order. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us tonight. We received a tip on our whistleblower hotline saying that the director of Barnes County Social Services is demeaning to his staff of women. Well, today, leaders talked about whether the director should be fired. In this exclusive story, Valley News Team's Christine Stanwood sat in on the heated discussion and digs deeper into these harassment claims. Well, I think, in my mind, this is uh, more of a power struggle than anything. They feel that it's been a very hostile environment. Different opinions surrounding whether Rick Bollinchuk would keep his job as Director of Social Services. So, therefore, I am going to make a motion that this board recommend that Rick be terminated. This after several employees filed grievances against him. I've received emails and a letter. Um, they're, they're, they're afraid. Belonchuk, who's only been on the job for six months, admitted to me about getting pushback from his staff claiming his attitude is belittling. The way I've communicated all those things are the same, just matter-of-factly saying we have to make this paramount that um, we have to put the county's interests first. When, it, when we make these decisions, it can't be about let's hurry up and get it done. So you wouldn't consider that degrading? No. He has told people they are incompetent and stupid and shouldn't be in that position. And that's absolutely false. Never said that? No. Biggest bully, what is your first reaction to that? Um, I don't know where it's coming from. You know, um, bullies uh, force people to do things. And they do it in a, uh, a disrespectful manner. And I don't think I interact um, with our staff in a disrespectful manner. I'm assertive. Belonchuk says he added pressure to his staff after they failed to copy him on an email. He adds a family is now threatening a lawsuit because his staff failed to provide services to their child. That kind of, I forgot, could get us in a lot of trouble and could hurt a child then you get more insistent and uh, maybe when I become more insistent like that maybe that's when they, they say I'm a bully. Bully or not, Barnes board members concluded that the claims against Belonchuk didn't have sufficient backing. They even decided to extend his contract for three more months under strict supervision. If stuff doesn't start happening in the next month there's going to be some serious talking to. In Valley City, Christine Stanwood, Valley News Live. No one who filed claims against Belonchuk was willing to go on camera or provide us with a statement. Board Chairman Mike Metcalf said that he will hold a follow-up meeting with the social service staff in February and will continue to follow this story and bring you updates here and online on valleynewslive.com.